What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be doing a complete hero guide for my main light side hero in Star Wars Battlefront 2 which is Rey. In these hero guides we're going to be covering everything that could possibly need covering from base stats, ability stats, the best star cards for galactic assault and supremacy as well as some of the best maps to choose them on, some general tips for those game modes, the best star cards for heroes vs villains and hero showdown, which enemy characters you need to look out for and then lastly covering some general tips for the hero game mode as well. So as you can see this guide is going to be breaking down every single aspect of the hero. If you're new around here and you end up enjoying this video, then be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Battlefront 2 content and be sure to hit that notification bell as well so that you are notified every time I upload more videos like this going forward. But anyway, with that out of the way, guys, let's get stuck right into it. So, starting off with Ray's base stats, and she does have a few of the lowest stats of any lightsaber hero in the game, but don't let that fool you as she does make up for it in other areas. Starting off with her base HP, she has 750, which is pretty much the average for any saber users in the game and as for how much health she can regenerate at once her regen is 250 which again is essentially the average for saber heroes in battlefront 2. in terms of her saber damage she deals 120 damage from the front and only 140 from behind making her i believe the only lightsaber hero who cannot one hit kill troopers from behind which is exactly where her stats do seem a lot lower than most of the others in the game now despite her lower damage output she does have a very decent swing speed at exactly two swings per second not the highest in the game but still higher than most saber users in the game. She's able to swing 10 times before running out of stamina and she's able to block 14 lightsaber attacks before running out of stamina. So despite that lower damage output, the rest of her stats are still pretty solid. Now moving on to her abilities and in my opinion, she does have one of the best sets of abilities in the game when it comes to a team-based playstyle, at least compared to most of the other saber heroes anyway. Her left ability is called Dash Strike and this one causes Ray to charge forward with her lightsaber, damaging anyone it hits and knocking them out of the way. It has a 10 second cooldown time after you've used it which is really good considering how solid this ability can be, dealing 130 damage per hit and also knocking enemies off their feet. This ability is really good for tight hallways that are full of enemies and despite the damage output not being the best there is a star card that I'll mention later that allows it to become a much better ability. Moving on we have her middle ability which is called Insight and this ability is in my opinion probably a top 3 ability in the entire game if not the single best ability. Insight removes Ray from the radar and reveals all nearby enemies to not only you but also to your teammates as well, which on its own is enough to make it one of the best abilities in the game as you can completely take over and dominate game modes like Galactic Assault, locking down objectives or just being able to plan the perfect attack with your team. Not only does it do all of that but it also gives 100% extra stamina and deals 10 extra damage per hit meaning you can now one hit kill enemies from behind and you also get 20 saber swings and a whopping 28 blocks and to top all of that off it has a super fast 10 second cooldown. The ability lasts for 8 seconds without any star cards, meaning you can have it active for essentially 50% of the time that you're alive, and so like I said, this is without a doubt one of, if not the best ability in the entire game. Now for her right ability we have Mind Trick, and while this might be her weakest ability, it does still come in handy more often than not. Mind Trick reverses the controls for anyone that it hits, essentially making things very difficult for enemies, and it also very much limits the enemy sensitivity, meaning they can barely turn around. The effects last for up to 5 seconds all up, and this one does require a 20 second cooldown which is definitely fair as even though it's not the best ability it would be pretty annoying if she could spam it every 10 seconds. So that is it for all of her base stats and abilities and now we are going to move on to some tips for Galactic Assault and Supremacy starting off with her best star cards. Keep in mind these cards are just a matter of opinion, there aren't really any loadouts in the game that are objectively the best or anything like that, but these are just what I find to work the best in these modes. The first card I'd recommend is her Focus Sight card, and this one just increases the active time for Insight by up to 7 seconds, taking it to a total of 15 seconds all up. Now like I mentioned earlier, the cooldown time is only 10 seconds, so this means you can have it active for 15 seconds every 10 seconds, allowing it to be used for literally 3 fifths of the time that you're alive, which is just insane for how good the ability is. The second card I'd recommend is the Far Sight card and this one just increases the area of effect of Insight allowing you to see enemies from up to 40% further away. Now honestly this one isn't the best choice for Rey herself but more just for the team as it allows teammates to see enemies that might be closer to them. So although it doesn't really affect you all that much it will definitely help your team out and can honestly be the difference between winning or losing. The third card I'd recommend is the Damaging Strike card and this one makes it so that with every enemy hit using Dash Strike it deals up to 30% more damage allowing to become a one hit kill on all troopers other than a heavy. This turns the ability into a much more useful and viable option and this is one of those cards that I honestly cannot play without. Personally I think these are definitely
definitely the three best cards for these modes. However, if you do disagree, then definitely let us all know down in the comments what you guys prefer to use. There is no right or wrong when it comes to star cards, so feel free to leave your own recommendations. Now, moving on to the best maps to choose her on in Galactic Assault, the three maps that I personally think she's the best on are Starkiller Base, Jakku, and Naboo. All of those maps have some really tough choke points to either attack or defend, and her inside ability alone just makes her so dominant on those maps. They might not necessarily be the best for her personally, as in the best maps to get kills on or anything like that, but in terms of having the best effect on her team, these are definitely her best maps. Now, moving on to some general tips for Galactic Assault and Supremacy. Like I've mentioned a few times, Ray is so damn good when it comes to team play and playing the objective, and that's definitely the area in which you should be focusing when you play with her. With how often you can use inside and with how helpful it is for the team, your first thought should be mostly thinking about how you can get into a position that allows you to get a bunch of kills and dominate the other team on your own, but also how you can make the most of inside and give your teammates the advantage that they need as well. I mention it all the time in these guides that playing with your teammates only makes you and them all that much stronger, and with Ray, it's taken to a whole other level on top of that because your inside ability allows them to literally see through balls and know where pretty much every single enemy is, and because of that, they're going to be able to attack, defend, or cover your own ass a whole lot easier. Like I said, you should pretty much be using inside at all times. As soon as you see it's cooled down, then you should pretty much activate it right away unless you're maybe just not in a great position. For example, maybe you had to fall back and heal up or something. But if you are even remotely close to the front lines, then you should pretty much be popping it at all times and just trying to give your team and yourself as much of an advantage as possible. It's also a good idea to try and use it for going for some multi-kills with their dash strike ability. Being able to see a big group of enemies bunched up in a hallway is a much safer way to use dash strike rather than just sort of charging and then not really knowing how many there are or if it's safe at all. So if you do want to get some of those big multi to kills then definitely combine those two abilities together. Now when it comes to actually getting kills with Ray, don't be put off by her lower damage output that I mentioned earlier as it's not really as bad as it seems. Saying she's the only saber hero who can't get a one hit kill makes it sound like she's really weak but at the end of the day she can still kill in two hits like any other saber hero in the game and honestly with how often insight is active anyway you'll still be dealing 150 damage from behind more often than not anyway. So that's what I meant earlier when I was saying it's definitely not as big of a deal as it might initially seem when you look at her base stats. Some of my personal biggest killstreaks in the game have actually been with Ray. What she lacks in damage, she makes up for tenfold in being able to see where everyone is and also having a really deadly ability in dash strike. So if you just play to her strengths, she can honestly be just as good as any other saber heroes when it comes to getting kills. To summarise, try and just use insight as much as you possibly can to give you and your team the most information possible. And remember that positioning is key, so try to put yourself in places where you can be dangerous. But more importantly, your teammates can be dangerous as well due to the constant use of insight. So moving on now to the hero versus villain game modes and honestly Ray can often be a little bit harder to use in these modes depending on who you're up against but she can definitely still hold her own as long as you play it right. Starting off with her star cards and the first card I'd recommend is once again the focus sight card as having insight for longer means you'll have more stamina and damage output for longer so this one is just a no brainer. The second card I'd recommend is her balance card and this one gives Ray a third dodge at the cost of 15% faster stamina the drain. Now, with how often you can use insight, the stamina is almost never going to be an issue. However, gaining a third dodge makes her much more viable in duels, as well as just when it comes to dealing with blaster heroes. So this one is definitely very useful for these game modes. The third card I'd recommend is her Resilient Strike card, and this one just gives up to 40% damage reduction when using Dash Strike. Now, this one does seem like a bit of an odd choice, I know. However, the reason I use it is because it allows you to take care of blaster heroes much easier than normal, as you can gain so much ground with this ability and since you're completely open to attack when charging, it does just help stop some of that damage, especially against characters like Aiden, Palpatine, or Phasma. Now, moving on to some enemies that you might need to keep an eye out for in these modes, and I'd say that Vader and Dooku are really the only big threats, as most other characters are very manageable. These two just deal so much damage and are a little bit more on the tanky side to where they just greatly outmatch you in that area, and your own strength in Insight, Mind Trick, or Dash Strike don't really pose a huge threat to them, so you can obviously hold your own if you do play it right, but definitely just be wary of these two whenever possible. Now, finally moving on to just some regular tips for these hero game modes, and like I said, Ray can be a little bit harder to use in these modes compared to the large scale game modes. It's important to remember that your damage output is a little bit on the lower side when Insight isn't active, and so she's definitely no Luke or Dooku or anything like that when it comes to just melting enemies. She does take a little bit more finesse rather than that sort of brute strength. Adding that third dodge does allow her to become a lot better suited in duels or even just against 
against blaster heroes as well. If you can dodge and weave around your enemies and let them use their two dodges, then you can use your third dodge to sort of gain back some ground on them and deal a bunch of damage while they're unable to roll or dodge. And so even though it might not seem like that big of an advantage, it definitely comes in handy more often than not. A solid tip that you guys should take advantage of is using her mind trick and then getting behind enemies to take them out before it's over. If you can mind trick a saber hero then dodge behind them, which is even easier to do with that third dodge, then you can often take more than half of their health while they're unable to protect themselves. And those are definitely the situations where she can become a very good hero. Now, one last little tip that actually relates to pretty much any game mode, not just the hero game modes, is something to do with her dash strike ability. A lot of people will often use dash strike, hit their enemy, and then either turn around and go back waiting for it to run out, or actually just cancel it again with the button that you push to activate it. What you want to do instead is use the regular saber attack to cancel it, as this makes her stop dashing as soon as you attack, and since you knock enemies with it, they'll be unable to block after that first hit with the ability, and so you're guaranteed to deal another lot of damage with that saber attack. With this little tip it means you're pretty much doubling the damage of the ability if you hit someone then you'll get 130 from the dash strike and then 120 from the saber attack making the ability essentially deal 250 damage so definitely get into the habit of just cancelling the ability with a saber attack or even a dodge rather than just cancelling it normally to summarize, be wary of your lower damage output against the better characters in the game and try not to out damage anyone in a swing spam contest. And then also try and make the most of the abilities like Mind Trick or the Dash Strike chick that I just mentioned, which allow you to chain together some damage very quickly. So that is going to do it for this Ray Hero Guide, guys. She is a really fun character to use, and so hopefully you guys did learn a few tips that can help you out moving forward. If you enjoyed the video and it did help you out, then be sure to leave a like down below to help support the channel and be sure to subscribe with those notifications on so you don't miss out on any more Star Wars Battlefront 2 content. Thank you all so much for watching, you guys have a great day and I'll catch you all in the next one.